The glitchiest offense in college football 25 is the Arkansas Offensive Playbook. This playbook has so many crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And so I figured what I would do is I would make a free ebook for you guys. If you wanted to just have fun on college football, this playbook is a lot of fun. Now we're going to start out with this motion double pass. These double passes are insane. What you basically are able to do is the game will just throw this out here. You see every zone in the game is going to blitz. And then you can just throw this over the top for a big play, potentially a one play score. I'm going to try to freeform this. I don't know if you can actually freeform this. Um, I think you can, though. Yeah, we can freeform this, get this out there. And you see, every zone in the game is going to blitz. So they can't really run zone against this defense. Now, the other thing that's kind of crazy to me is if they run man, kind of an advanced little tip with this, if they run man, they actually will just freeze at this on this running back. Now, right here, I don't know what he did. I don't know how he played that. Let me show this again. So if they run man here, there we go. This time, so you see how they freeze. See how they freeze, and then you can just take it off with take off with your running back. So this is pretty glitchy. Let me explain kind of what's going on. So if we go into replay, and again, if you like this ebook, this is the kind of stuff that I put in my school community literally every single week, pretty much every single day right now. We're dropping a ton of new content over there for you guys. We've got several different offensive and defensive ebooks available. If you're not a member of the school site, the link's in the description below. But check this out. So you see here, he throws. So this is manned up, right? So because it's manned up, as you see at the top, the fade's really not open. But I don't know why, for some reason, in this game, look at, look at the entire defense. See how they just freeze? They just freeze. And it's just free, like, 30 yards down the field. So this is seriously, like, one of the dumbest plays. And it's one of the hardest plays to honestly stop. Like, it really doesn't... It's really, there's not an easy way to stop it. For example, let's say that they, let's say they go cover one and like, okay, the way we're going to stop it is we're going to put this guy in a flat. Okay. So we're going to have it manned up and we're going to have a flat over there. But remember what happens when this play goes, all the zones blitz. So watch that flat. See how, see how I can just outrun him. He's just going to basically freeze. And with, with the spin move being what it is, what you can do with this and I actually learned this from a tournament. Somebody did this to me, and I was so frustrated. It's so hard to stop this. But basically, let me show you what you can do to get this get get the flat glitched. So you're going to run out here and just – I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. But basically, you're just going to spin him. So the way you're going to spin him is you're going to hold left trigger and right trigger when you do this. I'm pretty sure that's how you how you spin out from the quarterback position. We'll see if we can get this for you. But basically, once we see it's banned up, we need to turn the quarterback into a runner. See how they can – literally, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at them freeze. Like, you can just do some glitchy stuff with this. Like, I'll show you one other crazy thing I think you can do that would actually be kind of crazy. I don't know. They're going to basically have to use the running back, right? And that's super hard in this game. It's hard to make tackles in this game. But let me show you this real, one more time here. So, you see, they freeze. Notice how that flat sucked inside. A lot of times that happens, and then you can just get out in the open field and go. All right? Now, also, this is not the only play in this scheme. So let's talk about this. And now you can actually set your audibles. So what I like to do uh, with this, within, this, within this scheme is my run audible is this triple option. 100% I love this motion triple option right. Okay? Um, and then, really, I just – I honestly w really like the motion plays. So, like, the RPO read bubble to the left. And then I like to have the motion – or the, the motion halfback swing. And then I really just basically want one passing play. And I want it to either be this – because I'm going to pretty much come out in the double pass. That's kind of the main play. Um, actually, I want to go motion PA. Let's, let's do the RPO read swing. That's actually better. I forgot about that play. And then we're just looking for one passing play that basically has a cool route. Um, the cross screen is fun. Speed option is cool. Halfback draw is good. I'm going to talk about that. Halfback off tackle. So, so basically, you want to run shakes. We basically want to run shakes. Or if you wanted to have a motion passing play, you could have motion Y cross. But I think shakes is a better all-in-all -all play. Okay. So now let's get back out on the field and kind of explain um, some of the cool things about this offense. So you also have this speed option. 
And if you wanted to really, like, you could run this with Bama, you could run this with Texas, you run this with anybody. I prefer Texas because their defense is so good. But what you can also do here is you, with your speed option, you can spin with the quarterbacks. Like, let's say you're Milro, you could spin inside right there. So it, it, essentially, the speed option is almost like a shovel option where you could run it off tackle here to the left side. You could pitch it to the running back. You could spin back, and then you, you could basically reverse your field. So you could, like, spin back here and go all the way back to the right. And again, you would need Milro to make this optimal, but kind of a cool little thing. The other thing with speed option is you can flip it so that we can run it to the right here if we get a better look. So this is just the ultimate, like, college football type scheme. That's why I wanted to do it for you guys for the channel. Also, real quick, before we get any further, I did want to let you know, I'm going to post this on both of my YouTube channels, but when Madden comes out, our college football content is going to be on our college football YouTube channel. If you want to subscribe to that, we're going to have a ton of content over there. I'm kind of experimenting with some different things. We're doing uh, short form, just quick, straight to the point videos. We also have full eBooks over there uh, that we're going to be doing for free. We're going to do all of our college football content on that college channel. The link's going to be in the description below for you to sign up for that if you want to go check that out. Okay, so now what I want to talk about is how do you pass? So the main thing you want to be able to do when you pass in this offense is you really want to just basically be able to beat man. Because if you can beat man coverage, you're going to open up everything for your offense. So one of my favorite things to do in this game um, and I've been trying to tell people about this and people, I don't know, they just don't listen to me. Put a in route on the field and stem it like 15 yards, 15 to 20, 15, 20, 30. I wouldn't go to 30, but I'd definitely go to 20. And we're going to pair that with a running back wheel, a running back Texas route, which is the best. The running back Texas route is really good against man. And then on the right side here, we can kind of do whatever we want. If we want to run a streak, that's perfectly fine. That streak would be a nice clear out for us. Uh, if we wanted to run a corner route and stem him all the way down, that would be a good route combo. And then we would probably just pick, you know, basically take this guy on the right and either put him on a smoke screen, put him on a fade, put him on really anything that you want. But this, to me, is one of my favorite route combos. So we're going to get kind of creative with the route combos because they don't have a ton of passes. But a lot of times, see how that Texas route just cooks man coverage? That Texas route is so, so, so good against man. Now, let's say you're watching this. You're like, well, that's cool, Cody, but I'm getting screamed at. So I need to be able to block blitzes. What's actually interesting, this is the first year that I can remember that this has actually been the case. This is probably the best formation in the game to block the meta blitzes. So what you're going to do is, and I'll go over how to actually pass protect in a minute, but you're going to block your running back here, and then you still can put the Texas out here. So what this means is we can now do the stemmed out route, and then if we wanted to, we could do a couple of other things with our routes. It depends a little bit on what they're doing from a coverage perspective. Like, this is honestly a fine combo. This is going to be pretty good. And again, you're going to notice, look at this running back Texas route, just absolutely destroy man coverage. And they have to play man coverage. If they don't play you in man coverage, you're going to throw the double pass. So they have to play man coverage. So the majority of what we're going to be teaching here is how to beat man coverage. I'm going to have some zone combos as well. And these combos are not bad if you guess wrong. Um, I'm going to talk about that. But I want to show this. Uh, I want to show the stemmed in route because it is so good. So what you'll see from the stemmed in route, look at the separation that he gets as we got right, kind of a crazy, crazy throw from Quinn. Look at the separation that Isaiah Bond is going to get on this stemmed. Uh, I don't know why it's not letting me stem here. Did I just, oh, because I'm going to run play. Look at the separation that I'm going to get on this in route. Am I still in run play? All right, perfect. Well, let's stem him up to 20 yards. Now here, just for the purpose of what we're trying to do, I'm going to, and this is actually a combo that would be good. We're going to drag the slot. And the reason why is it's going to give us a high-low read on the left. We have a high-low between the slant. And then look at this. Look at this in route. Look at this in route. Look at this in route. See how it's getting – see how it's kind of just – it's basically in a really unique spot. Now, what they're going to basically do, and this is what's really interesting about this offense, they have to use her the Texas route. And the reason they have to use her the Texas route is because the Texas route destroys main coverage. So they have to use her the Texas route, but you also have this deep, deep in route. 
Now, I would probably go right up to about 15 to 20 yards. You want it to get it over the yellows. That's what I'm trying to accomplish here. Let's just keep Bolden out of the play for a second. I want to just show you the in route. See how fast he runs his route? And this, the, see how the deep blue doesn't play it? You don't have to have a clear out, which makes it super good. So you don't have to have a clear out for the, uh, for the in route. So how are they going to defend that? How are they going to defend this play? Like, we don't even have to talk about anything else. This user is going to have to go defend the dig, right? They're going to have to take that, that in route. So just to illustrate, I'm going to man him up on this. And then the problem becomes that because of this in route, and this is what's going to be really cool, because of this in route, they are not going to be able to have a cover one robber type of look. They're going to have to, you know, this is why I like this combo probably the most here. We're going to put a post on that right side. So you see this? This is probably the combo that I would go with. The reason this is super good is because they have to use the in route. If they don't use her the in route, obviously you can just throw the in route. But if they do use her that, then as you see, I can just throw my running back route. So it's a, they can't really, they're going to have to choose who they're going to guard, right? Well, not only that, so the best way they would probably do is they would put this guy to purple here. But they have to be over here to use her this. And you see they're just running out of players that they can adjust with within this. And again, this is also a drop eight, you know, man-to-man -man concept. So what I'm able to do, and, and you could, if you wanted to, you could leave this post to Bolden. It'd probably do fine for you. Uh, what's also cool is you could stem these posts this year. So if you wanted to like use it as almost like a, a clear out route to the left, you could. But the biggest thing I want to show you is if I, if I, put, this, if I put this in route to 15 to 20 yards on the right side here, we're going to have this post. And we're going to put the post, we're going to stem him to about 15 yards. So they're going to kind of break at the same time, roughly. And watch this post. This post is going to have the entire field to be able to work. He didn't beat his man there, but if he had beat his man, it would have been a touchdown. Now, the way you get him to beat his man for Texas is you sub in Wingo out here on the right side. Golden is not very good. We want Wingo out here. Wingo has 96 speed. What's even crazier is we could do this from motion um, if we wanted to, and I'll get into that in, in a little bit. I, I'll actually come out in this motion play, though. We'll talk about that next. But again, you see, like, the idea here is we want to be able to essentially really manipulate man coverage because if we can really manipulate man coverage, that's really the only thing they can do to stop what we're going to do, right? So in the example of this double post, this post is probably deep enough so we could just go with, you know, a 15-yard in route, block this running back, and then stem this corner. Or zig this guy if you want to zig him as well. You could do that too. So there you see. That's on the post. Actually, everything I bagged. That's crazy. And sometimes man coverage is like that. Um, the most consistent man meeting around the game is this. Is this um, uh, what am I trying to say? It, it is this route right here. So what you could do with this also, so like let's say you want to run this motion play. We're going to take Baxter. We're going to put him on a um, Texas route. We're going to put Wingo on the in. And we're still basically doing the same thing. Now what I would do here is because of kind of how we're running the play, this is where you could get away with a drag underneath. But just have these little crossers. And if they do play zone coverage on you, your in route, notice that the – I didn't get him deep enough, but the in route will get behind the yellows if we get him to about 15 yards. So let me kind of illustrate that here. So on the last play, I think I did a 10-yard in. We want at least a 15 to 20, right, 15 to 20. So now, you know, let's say we do a little whip route here, like something like this, right? This would be really good against man, but it's also good against zone. And the reason it's going to be good against zone is because look at that high-low in the middle of the field we have. We have a high-low between the running back and we have a high uh, between the – between the in route, okay? Super basic, uh, super effective plays. Let's say you want to run this uh, double post play and you really are going to try to utilize this crosser because this crosser normally will beat man. So what I like to do whenever I want to run a play like this is we'll just drag the solo receiver and we'll just snap the ball. Again, we're, if we're optimizing to beat man coverage, this will do a really good job because it gives the crosser the entire left side of the field to be able to work to manipulate man coverage. 
Another way that I like to manipulate man coverage is with my RPOs. So one of the easiest ways to manipulate man coverage in this scheme is with your RPO reads. So let's say they are playing man coverage. And I'm going to drop this hard flat to the linebacker here. Watch this. Uh, watch this read RPO. They play man. See how he goes inside. I can just throw this. And we're off to the races. It's super hard to guard. Um, the same is true if I was to run the swing. So if I want to run the swing against man, you know, we put a we put a, a hard flat to the linebacker on that side. Because he's in the because he's in the key, the read key, he's not normally going to get out there very well. And so these are some easy ways that you can manipulate man and zone with your basic plays. Um, I think the best way to beat man, because they have to, if they run out there with their user, we'll just hand the ball off. We just hand the ball off. That's all we have to do. These runs are good. They're hard to defend. So, you know, these are some things. Now, let's say, you know, I don't know, maybe they are super, get super adjusty and they start playing zone, but they man up circle and you need something for that. My favorite play uh, probably from this set is this cross play. And we're just going to stem that in route again. We're going to get that in route about 15, 20 yards. Then on this left side, we're going to run a super deep post. I mean, like deep, deep, like 20 yard post. So we're going to stem him up to 20 yards. So you see here, the reason we're doing that is because this is going to pull the zones to the middle of the field at the time that you want to throw this crosser. So you see here, see how that quarter kind of gets stuck. And then you're able to throw the crosser in a in kind of a unique position, right? The other, th let's go to replay and show you kind of the routes here for this. So the other thing that you have, so you see here, we have the flat. We could throw the flat. We also see how that timing of that in route, even though it's a 20 yard in route, it's really about the perfect timing for what we're trying to do. And then um, if you want to try to kind of like, I guess, take the top off the defense, you can try to hit this post. Let me stem about right there. And this is cover for drop. So again, if the flat's open, you can take it. Watch the post, though. And he did get played by the quarter, so we'll just leave it. But this combo is really good. It's really good against uh, man. It's really good against zone. Now, I want to cover another thing you can do. I'm going to go back to the play shakes. So you see how we have these C routes in this play? These are really good for zone, um, specifically. So if you look here to the right side, I can throw this with an outside pass lead and basically possession catch it in front of outside quarters and outside thirds. The other advantage to that route is let's say they play a cover three. So if they play a cover three, this is going to give you potential for a, a big play. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the play shakes. You're going to post this slot receiver. Then you're going to stem him up about two or three ticks. So you see this kind of what we're doing. Now, what I would do with this is I would have a backside Texas route, right? Because we want man beating play. We also want to have a man beating, a way to beat man coverage, right? So let's see what this looks like against cover three. This post is going to be the read. See how it's going to just split that cover three. And it's going to be a touchdown. One of the things you will get some as someone that's ran this scheme a little bit online you get some cover two within this scheme. So if you want to bomb cover two out of this, very simple. If we go back to that cross play, really all you're going to do here is you are going to essentially just stem this corner all the way down. And then what I like to do is have something coming over the middle field. So I like to have a Texas route because that's going to hold the user underneath. So you see here, you're going to hold that user underneath. And then this post is just going to split this cover two, as you see. So we have one play touchdown formulas against cover three, against cover two. We have some really good man beaters in here. And then obviously, you know, if they're just sitting, you know, again, if they're sitting in zone, you should be able to throw your double, uh, your double pass too. This triple option is also really good, really effective. And if you just think about it, when they play man coverage, they're going to be out leveraged a lot. So when they start to get into man, that's where I really like to run the ball with this triple option. And we're just reading. So the way that you keep the ball with your quarterback 
is you hold X. So if he stands up, you let it go. If he doesn't stand up, you hold X or A, um, depending on your console, and then you pitch it with L LB. So very good play. This triple option. RPO read bubble. Um, another thing you can do with this read bubble is you can keep um, – oh, oops, I made a mistake. So if you want to pull the ball with your quarterback – Actually, no, I, I don't know what I did there. Let's, let's see. I don't think you can keep your keep it with the quarterback here. Yeah, I don't think you can keep it with the quarterback on that play. The speed option is kind of a fun play. I talked a little bit about that in terms of how you can use it. But another play that is really good in this formation is actually the mid-draw. So if I find the mid-draw, a lot of people don't realize that draws are one of the better runs in this game. I'm just going to go against random defenses. But this draw is really good. Uh, the blocking on draws this year is really good. They're going to basically, like, pinch, and then you're able to just run the ball with your uh, – with your. you can kind of just – essentially, it's like almost like a – it's a draw, but the blocking is so much better than it's ever been. And it's like a delayed handoff, so you can kind of, like, see where you want to go. And basically, the way that they have to stop the draw is they have to blitz their linebackers up the middle. If they don't blitz their linebackers, this draw is free. But if they do blitz their linebackers, then we can go to our swing pass or whatever, either that or the bubble, and we can just attack them on the edge with our passing, right? So that's why I like this formation is because this formation is very good at attacking the entire horizontal sections of the field. And there you see another example of the good blocking from a draw play. Now, in terms of how to throw these swing passes, what I would tell you to do, um, if you freeform them, you can kind of experiment with that. Sometimes it does overthrow them, but I've been putting my freeform. I'll show you my freeform settings, actually. So my freeform settings, or this is just kind of what I've learned. Do, do the pass lead increase on none. That will really help with the overthrows. Pass lead increase on none, and then 15 out of 20, even maybe as low as 7 and 3, right? But lower the sensitivity. I was playing on 20 out of 20. I felt like I was overthrowing a lot, when, but I also had this on small. If I have this on none and this on, like, even if I had this on 20, I think I'd be fine. But this is the big key is pass lead increase on none. All right, so I'm going to run this draw, and you see um, pretty good run. Pretty good run. There's a lot of things you can do with it. And sometimes when they blitz everybody, you can do – this, this is what happens with the draw. Like, see, see what just happened there? Like, he blitzes everybody, and it kind of just suctions them, in, it suctions them into blocks. And then you're able just to get out of there with the draw. And the same, again, you got to be patient with this draw. It's like the key to the run. If you get stopped in the backfield, it's okay. But just be patient. Be patient with the draw. Don't hold turbo. Uh, until you find the hole. If you if you hold turbo too soon, it triggers the sheds. So here I see. Oh, there's the hole. Okay. See how see how I have full control of my back, and I'm not holding uh, turbo. I am just simply letting like the hole kind of develop, and then we're gonna go through and, and run. The reason I like Texas for this scheme is they have two really good running backs. Um, but you could run this with like uh, Kansas. You could run this with Kansas State. You could run this with Alabama. I personally like, you know, I just really like that they have two running backs. And you see, I mean, the, the, the full control I have over the draw, and you're starting to see why this is a really good run. But, again, you just, boom, spin inside. I mean, you see, I mean, it's, it's tough to stop this. So I'd really, I'd really check out draw plays in general. And then, again, you have this RPO read. I love this RPO read. It's like if they're running man, I'm telling you, this RPO read, um, it's super good because you see how the linebacker, so what's really important is the linebackers are in the run fit. They're in the run fit. So like if you, so like here, Dollar would do a decent job against the swing passes because the defense is more spread out, but it's going to be terrible against these in in um, inside runs. I will say with the RPO read bubble, I think on the swing you can free form it out there a little bit more. With the bubble, just don't um, like you can pass lead it, but just don't free form it. But you see how good this bubble is. This bubble is um, probably the most underrated play in this playbook. And then sh well, let's say we want to run like shakes. We're going to streak this. Uh, like we're going to do like a wide side flood basically. So we're going to streak Bolden. We're going to in route.
this backside guy, and I love to stem him like 15, 20 yards. And then really from there, I would block this left side guy. Just a simple high-low read on the right side. These simple plays are going to be much, much more open in light of the fact that we're running all these glitchy combos. Another one of my favorite routes in this formation that I'd be crazy not to tell you about is the speed out. Stem the speed out to about 12 yards. This thing is money. You're just to the wide side. It's almost impossible to guard. Now, I don't freeform this out route this year. And the reason why, we're just running against random plays here. I don't freeform the out route on this. I'm just trying to get this basically on the timing. So you see here, now this time he goes cover two. So if they do go cover two, that's like the counter to it. But if they go cover two, they're kind of crazy. Like, like you could do realistically, like let's say you wanted to run this route combination and you're saying, well, you know, maybe if they run cover two, this could be bagged. What I would do is, is basically this. This will bomb cover two. And then if it's man, though, this is money. Money, money, money against man. Now, as far as, like, alignment, I want to run the two receiving set to the wide side of the field. I do think that that's very helpful for this because that more it gives you more space for your swing pass, for your double passes, things of that nature. So you see here, I can freeform this out against this, and I'm not going to get as many overthrows. But honestly, I think maybe the best way to throw these swing passes, and I'm actually going to show, I want to show this. Boom. And you see, we're able to go. So these swing passes are super, super good. All right. So those are some of my main passing ideas and plays. We didn't get into, let's take a look at, Let's see if I have anything else I want to really go over. The fullback cross screen is kind of cool. Motion Z spot is kind of a fun play. I don't really, I don't think you really need to call motion Z spot because you see how it's a different alignment. Now, honestly, it's not terrible. But what I would do with this is I would post this outside guy, but I would stem him up quite a bit, and then I'd stem the corner all the way down. The reason this will work really good is this post will act like a clear out streak in terms of the way the defense will see it or feel it, and then you can throw this this uh, corner against pretty much everything. The other thing that you can do, again, if they're going to cover two to try to take away the corner route, well, this super deep post, when he cuts inside against the half, is going to be available to you. So you see here, super deep post, splits that cover two, and you're also seeing how forgiving the freeform settings are because we don't have any pass lead increase. You know, so that's, a, that's another thing that I would really, you know, check out. Again, guys, if they're running a lot of man coverage, you got to understand how to, how to beat man. And really, it comes down to your running backs. It really does. Like, even something as basic as a post, like, this would be a good combo here. So we're going to do a deep post on the right. We're going to do a speed out route on the left because we know the speed outs are good against this and it doesn't have it could be like a 10 yard speed out and then we're going to slant or not slant we're going to do a deep in route to bolden about that 20 yard depth and then we're going to texas route the back now watch this there's no way in man coverage they can defend everything there's literally no way every single route beats man coverage right so, I mean, these are some of the simple plays that I love out of this. This shakes play is kind of cool. I think this shakes play is really good. One thing I want to say about this uh, solo side, so this shakes play, these C routes are unbumpable, so you can throw them against man, as you see right there. Like, we're able to throw the C route against man pretty easily. But let's say we wanted to throw the C route against zone on the short side of the field, and they have to hard flat. If they don't hard flat, we're going to throw our bubbles all day. Look at this C route. That outside quarter, outside third, the only way they stop a C route is with a cover two, right? So if we want to attack, let's say we want to attack this left side with this high-low read here, then on the back side, what makes a lot of sense, and I like to out route, actually. I don't like the flat. I like to out. 
Um, cause the out route is, you'll actually see like, look how sharply this out route cuts. It's really a cool route, but what's really interesting. So like, let's say, you know, again, cause the way they're going to stop it is they're going to play cover two to that side. So we're going to go to shakes and we're going to have that high low read on the right. Well then on the left side, what we're going to do is we're just going to post the slot, but we're going to get him up again, that super deep stem. Now watch what we're able to do against cover two sometimes. You see here, actually the, the half did play it a little bit better than I thought he would. Let's um let's actually just streak this guy. I bet you this splits cover too. Let me go with it. let me go back to that. Shakes. So we have a high low read on the left side, and then we basically have you should see that this streak can split it with the hashes so wide. Yeah. So this is why college football is so interesting. So basically on the right side you have potential to, to basically split that cover two. You're probably going to need to not use a C route, though. So I think let's try. I'm trying to think what I could even try. Let's try a bang eight, honestly, with a streak. I don't know. Basically something that kind of pulls that half out a little bit more. And then you're going to throw this inside. It's kind of not there, I will say. Um, you would have to fade. Basically, just you could also just streak them both. So, like we want to bomb cover two. The other easy method is just post this dude. Get him up about five or ten. And then from here, what I would really recommend is still having something that attacks that middle of the field. So, if that's an in route, if that's a, you know, a, a backside Texas route, What's kind of cool with this play is we could do something like this, and then we could in route the back. That's another cool part about these two back sets. So you see how we can just kind of use the backs within the passing system. And then as you see, we're able to split that cover two with that post. So all these plays are really just designed to manipulate everything the defense can do. And ultimately, the best play in the formation the reason you call this formation is because of this motion double pass. Because every zone is going to blitz, and you're going to do you're going to this is at least once a game you're going to hit this. And you don't you don't have to come out like like you don't have to call this every 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 play. And again, I really want to stress like if they run man, what do you do? They're going to freeze, so we just trust that they're going to freeze. I mean, this is like a 30-yard run, juke back across the – I mean, look at that. This run is insane. Uh, or this play. This play in general is just insane. So you have, you have all of these options. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other, any other plays that I want to go over. I do want to go over how to block this, the blitzes. Let me see here. Get out, pitch. Yeah, the triple option is so good out of this. Honestly, another thing that I would um, – oh, I didn't go over the cross screen. The cross screen is actually really good. So these little, like, running back cross screens in this game, they're really effective. So this is the motion. Let's actually look at this stutter go. What's this? Let's see what this does against cover two real quick. A little detour. We'll talk about the motion play in a minute. Oh, they're, they're running too slow. Yeah, and they're running into each other. Yeah, it's not very good. We'll leave that there. That was a dot. <laughs> uh, college football 25, man, it's in the game. Uh, okay, so I want to show the cross screen, and then we'll talk about the blitzes. There's not really anything else that I think it's like you have to run. Most, uh, well, I'll show this stick play. So what makes this stick play good is this fade on the right. So if you streak this guy, watch this stick or this. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just not the deep halves just do a pretty good job on that hash. Honestly, I would just leave it alone. OK. All right. Let's get to the fullback screen motion fullback cross screen. This play. Why is this play good? Well, you have fade runoffs. But really, it's good because they're going to be expecting that double pass, so they're going to go user that. And then look at the blocking on this. Now, again, I did scream. 
But again, you gotta realize like they're gonna user this guy, they're gonna see this, and they're gonna run over here, right? Because you you've been running double pass. So now you just hit them with this thing. And I'm actually getting <laughs> yelled at by that defensive tackle. Let's let's um let's full slide to the left too. See if we can't just get a second. There we go. But basically, this is going to be open. And then you see how, how, how good the blocking is. It is also kind of one of those things where it's like, you know, is this a good, is this a good combo or not? I think it is. Um, and the reason why is because if you just have a second, this is going to be – and the reason this is hard against Texas is because they have so many quick jumps. If, if that guy did not have quick jump, he'd come in a lot slower. And I'll, sh I'll actually show that. So if you're playing anyone but Texas, from what I'm, under, from my understanding, they don't really have quick jump on their DT. So let's put this dude in. If they don't have quick jump on their defensive tackle, which most people have it on their ends, watch how much slower he's going to come in here. I'm going to have plenty of time, plenty of time to hit this, right? If they have quick jump, it's one thing. If they don't have quick jump, though, this thing is wide, wide, wide open. So I also can still look over here. Like if they try to use her in the middle, I can still always just throw it out to the back too. But the main thing here is we are looking for this screen. This screen is really good, and they are going. you're not going to call this screen a lot. But watch what this screen does against man. So against man coverage, a lot of people think that you know man coverage stops screens. In college football 25, I think man coverage actually is not very good against screens. The reason why is because they are going to freeze. This linebacker on the left is going to freeze. So you see how he kind of freezes? And blue is kind of annoying me. I would definitely full slide to the left too. Like, like get as many people over there blocking. And you're going to kind of shift this way. And you see there... That is why this is – I mean, this is a hard play to stop because the user is going to run over to the right side. Most, most people stop screens by usering the screen. Well, the user is going to run over here, right, because of how we've been running our offense. So he's going to run over there, and then look at this. It'd be great if I could pass it. The screen might be bugged. Let's try um, – I don't know. Let's try ID in this guy. If we can block this defensive tackle, this is like a massive play. But yeah, you're just if you have time, look how open this is. So, so that's the screens. Um, I really like this. Also, really like. I mean, pretty much every screen in this is good, but fundamentally, I love the cross screen. I did want to spend just a few minutes talking about how to block the meta defenses. So 335 Penny is one of the overwhelming meta defenses in this game. So we are going to show how I like to block this. So one of the easiest things you can do against 335 Penny is run the ball in this in this defense. But if you don't want to run the ball cuz like they're going to this is this is the main like passing setup. So if, they, if, if they're trying to run this blitz on you, all you need to do is half slide um, basically either way. So here we're going to half slide to the right. We're going to block the running back here, and we're going to ID this guy. So you see that this is the protection. The ID is on – see how it says half back over the top of the guy? It, that's where he's at. So now we can run this guy on a route and watch. This will block the blitz. Right, and then you can just throw your throw your routes. So that will block the penny blitz when they do that. When they do this, like let's say they start to do this to try to stop your run game. When they do that version of the blitz, what you're going to do, and this is why I said this is such a good way to pick up this defense, you're going to half slide to the to the way like opposite side that they shifted, block the running back on the side they shifted, and ID him. And then you can run your route combos. And if you step up. This is going to block it every single time. So you see, just by the basics of us having the running back and the protection on both sides, it makes a big difference in how we're able to pick this up.
So we're able to pick up the Penny Blitz really easily, honestly. Um, the next Blitz that is kind of the meta or something that you will definitely see uh, people utilizing is you will see... Let me get uh, Gillette in here. Okay. Uh, you will see people running this double mug, right? We have ebooks on both of these on the school page. But basically, how this would... What I, double mug is not a good defense against this because you could run all over it, okay? But the other thing that I wanted to say is this is pretty much the main setup, and they're going to probably do this because they can play man out of it, right? So this is the four-man setup. So all you need to do to block double mug is whichever running back you want to block, you're going to full slide away from him. So here, we're going to full slide, um, and we normally want to block the left one. So we're going to full slide to the to the right. So you see here, full slide to the right. Um, and then we're going to – it automatically blocks your running backs for you in this formation. And then you're going to ID this left side defensive end. That's pretty much it. And then you can set up your routes. And you see that even with quick jump, this is never really going to come in. That's a tough throw by Quinn. And if they want to send the six-man version of the blitz, this is even easier to pick up. I actually think the six-man version is fundamentally worse than the four-man version in this. But this, now you have the whole... I mean, the other thing that's really important to understand is you have the whole field. You know, what you see here, we have plenty of time. I get shedded, and that's a practice mode thing. Like, you will get shedded, but I have plenty of time to be able to hit something. And really, the route that I would probably hit, if I knew they were running a lot of man, I'd have that stemmed corner on the right side, and then I'd have that deep in route. Here, we're going to full slide away, block the running back, and then we have the Texas. And then and then on the, on the right, you can throw a post up there because they're not pressing you. You know, it's just something like this. I actually got barked up there. I don't know why I did. Let me show that one more time. Maybe maybe double mug is it. But again, like if I'm playing double mug, you know what I want to do? Look at that. See how there's only one player to the left side of the screen? Why don't we just call this? Why don't we just call this? Right? Hopefully we don't run out of bounds, but why don't we just call this defense? Like why don't we just call these route combos? You don't have to send five out and you know what I mean? But if they are sending six and you want to block it, it's pretty much this is the protection. And then you see here. Oh, that's why, because my ID is changing. So uh, you want to put your running backs on routes, and then you want to ID. And, and the reason that's – so for some reason it's changing the mic. So basically we're going to uh, full slide. We're going to put our running backs on whatever route combo we want, so like here. And then we're going to ID so it doesn't change that. So you see now we have that ID'd. And now you'll see this blocks it. And, of course, I lied. It doesn't. Colin Simmons is still humming. Now, this is obviously optimized with Texas, too. Um, we'll do the other way. So we'll full slide to the left. We'll block this back here. And you see we pick it up. And again, some of this is they just super shed because they're because we're in practice mode. But in terms of the actual six man pressure, I think we're fairly okay here. And then we can just send this guy on a wheel. That's actually kind of humming. I don't know. In worst case scenario, you can block both of these guys. You can do this right here. because you have a very simple protection system. Another one of my favorite methods, um, I, I was actually kind of playing around with this. Another one of the best, or the, like kind of the f interesting thing that you can do is you could come out in these motion plays because what it does is it cross blocks. So like here, look at this. I'm going to come out my motion play, and this is going to cross block my running back. So the running back is going to kind of step up into the A-gap basically. And then you can kind of put combos around this. So let's just simply full slide to the right. We still have, or did it cancel that? It kind of did cancel that. Let's show that again. Let's not do that. So we'll just do nothing. So we're literally just going to call 
these motion plays, I find that they oftentimes block the blitz. It's motion play. Yeah. It kind of blocked it. Kind of kind of kind of good. All right, because he steps out into the middle of the of the of the defense. Another thing you could do is you could block this back like this if you wanted to max pro and now your running back is stepping into the middle A gap, right? So it's just kind of a different way that you could approach picking this up. But in general, honestly guys, the best way to attack the blitz is with these with these swing passes, these RPOs. They just can't defend these. If they're blitzing, they're not going to defend that very well. So we're going to just they're going to throw a lot of defenders in the middle of the field, so we're going to attack them on the edge. Right? And again, the best way to block the blitz is to full slide away, block the running back, put the other running back on a route, and then ID here. And typically this will work. It's just kind of being weird. And also I'm not, I'm not putting a, a great route combo in the field to beat this. So you see how the ID changed? Put the ID right there. There. And he's still kind of humming at me. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. Another thing you can try, because this blitz is kind of humming, and it just could be a practice mode bug. But another thing you could do is you could go with this um, base protection and do the same thing, block the running backs. And yeah, that kind of worked. Huh. Interesting. So the base protection would basically put the linebacker. I mean, honestly, you should just be able just to block a running back here. Like, seriously. Um, just the way this game plays. Like, it, that, that, that should pick it up, honestly. And it is. I'm just getting shedded. Right? But if they're, gonna, if they're just going to send this out of this, literally, you should just block a running back. And it should be blocked. I would ID one of these linebackers. One of these linebackers. Probably the one on the running back side. So he'll just step up, block the running back, and then I'm just getting shedded is what's going on. But you see the idea. Okay? So that's pretty much my Arkansas split slot offset offense. Now, what you can do with this offense is you can go, like let's say you come out, this formation really don't audible out of it. But if I put two tight ends in the game, I can audible into I form tight. And we can run stretch power O for the red zone. We can run some crazy stuff. So kind of keep that in mind. But in general, this is what I like to do out of Arkansas. If you guys like this vi vi video and this little kind of breakdown, you'll love my full schemes on our school community. School.com slash Cody Ballard. I've been really, really happy with the school platform this year and um, super actually excited about the content we have out there. I think a lot of people have been getting better. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is going to be in the description below. $10 gets you unlimited access to everything we have on the site, both for Madden and for college football.